Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I'll be solving exercise 11.1 uh, from unit number 11, that is chords and arcs. Let's start with question number 1. In a circle, two equal diameters A, B, and C, D intersect each other. Then we have to prove that measure A, D is equal to measure B, C. So this means two diameters. We are supposed to draw the two diameters. Let us draw the two diameters first. So let's say diameters, since the diameters are of equal length, so they will intersect each other and the point of intersection will be the center point which is the O point. Right, so let's label these diagram. So first diameter AB and then you have CD another diameter. So two diameters okay intersect each other at point O. So let's write it down, a circle with center O, diameters AB and CD intersect at point O. Also, since diameters are the diameters equal because the line segment passes to the center. So AB is equal to CD. This is the thing that we it was given in the statement and we have written it down. Next thing is the what you have to prove. So to prove it is also mentioned in the statement that measure AD is equal to measure BC. Since we have to prove AD, so we are supposed to join AD. So we'll join A to D and we'll join B to C. Right? Okay, we'll also write it down in the construction. So we'll be writing it as join A to D and B to C. Also, we'll label the angles as angle 1 and angle 2. Label angles as angle 1 and angle 2. Right? So, now we'll be doing the proof with the help of statements and reasons. If you see from the diagram, we can see the two triangle. So, we'll be Using these two triangles, you will be doing the proof with the help of these triangles. Okay, so we'll consider the correspondence relation in triangle. We have OAD corresponds to triangle OBC, right? Let's take the first side, measure OA is equal to measure OB. We'll be, we are talking about these two sides of triangles and if you see these two are the radii of the same circle. So OA and OB are the radii so the reason will be radii of same circle. So all the radii of the circle will be equal. Okay now if we consider the two angles so we'll be writing down measure angle 1 is equal to measure angle 2 if you see, these are vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles and the vertical opposite angles are equal. Hote hai. Okay. Next, if we will take this side, OD. So, OD will be equal to measure OD is equal to measure OC. So, if you see, these are two again the radii and the radii of the same circle are equal. So, radii of same circle. So, if you see, this is the side, this is the angle and this is the side. So, we have applied the postulate and since we can write it down like, therefore, this correspondence relation is now converted into congruence relation. So, OAD is now congruent to triangle OBC and we'll be writing down by S A S postulate okay this is e okay now 
since the tri two triangles are congruent so the thing that was required to us was this side ad and bc so if the triangles are congruent the remaining angles the remaining sides are congruent so we can easily write it down now therefore measure ad is equal to measure bc and what will be the reason corresponding sorry corresponding sides of congruent triangles right so hence we have proved the result that the two if the two diameters intersect each other then ad is equal to bc hope you understand the sum thank you so very much move forward to words question number two in a circle prove that the arcs between two parallel and equal chords are equal so the given is that the two parallel and equal chords so let us draw the two chords let's say okay we'll be drawing the chords with the continuous lines so because this is the thing given to us so a b and c d let's say these are the two chords so the two chords are parallel and equal so i'm going to label it a b and this is going to be the c d so in a circle and the center of the circle is obviously o so let us write what is given to us a circle with center o a circle with center o right whereas here a b and c d are chords kaisi chords hain wo such that it is given that the two chords are parallel and equal such that measure ab is equal to measure cd and measure ab is parallel to measure cd right so this is the thing that is given to us now what we have to prove it's mentioned in the statement that the arcs between the two parallel chords right so what are the arcs these are the two arcs if i mention it with red color these are the arcs a c is one arc and b d is another arc which lies between the two chords so we'll be writing down that measure a c and we'll be making the symbol of arc right measure a measure ac is equal to measure b d arc b d right so this we have to prove that the two arcs are equal okay what what, what is the construction that we are supposed to do construction is let's join now we are going to do, uh, do the dotted lines join a to c and b to d and we'll also join i'll be doing another color let's say green color a to d and b to c so that we can have two triangles we'll be writing down the same thing that join a to c join a to c b to d also join a to d and b to c right and label angles as angle 1 and angle 2 label angles right as angle 1 and angle 2 okay now I'll, now we'll be start our proof with the help of statements and reasons if you see we have two triangles again so we'll be taking the correspondence relation of these two triangles okay so triangle in triangle correspondence relation of triangle oac corresponds to triangle odb the very first side we are going to take oc measure oc is equal to measure ob 
this is the thing we are considering O C is equal to O B and what are these things? These are the radii and radii within the same circles are equal. So radii of same circle we have written down the reason. Now if we see measure angle 1 is equal to measure angle 2. Why? Because vertically they are vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles. And then again the other radii OA measure OA is equal to measure OD this thing so these are again the radii of same circle right so if you see we have applied the postulate S A S postulate so the correspondence relation is now converted into congruence relation so triangle OAC is congruent to triangle ODB and what is the reason SAS side angle side postulate right okay now if the two triangles are congruent then the remaining sides and angles will also be congruent so we'll be taking the side AC and BD we can write therefore we did from this we can say that measure AC is equal to measure sorry is equal to measure A, sorry, measure BD. And what will be writing down the reason? The reason will be corresponding sides of congruent triangles, right? Well, you people will be doing in the paper, you have to write down the whole statement. Corresponding sides of congruent triangles. Okay, so if you see AC is equal to BD, these are also chord. AC be chord, BD be chord. Right? So from this thing, we can imply that measure arc, A, arc AC is equal to measure arc BD. Right? Agar uh, chord equal hoti hai, toh correspondingly arc be equal hoti hai. This is the by from the theorem. So, I'll be writing down the statement of the theorem. Okay. So, from this we can consider. Is ko hum 1 keh dete hai agar. So, hum isko keh dete hai from 1. 1 humare paas kya hai? Hum isko ab chord ka naam dete hai. Mayor chord AC is equal to measure chord BD. Thik hai? Ye bhi ek chord ho gai. और यहां से अगर कॉर्ड इक्वल होगी तो हम कह सकते हैं बाय थ्योरम इफ द कॉर्ड्स ऑफ अ सर्कल ऑफ अ सर्कल आर इक्वल देन देयर कोरिस्पोंडिंग आर्क्स Corresponding arcs are congruent. ठीक है? तो अगर हमारे पास chord equal होती हैं, तो हम कह सकते हैं कि उनकी जो arcs बन रही हैं correspondingly, वो भी आपस में क्या हैं? वो equal हैं, right? This is this was the side. ये जो हमने proof की थी triangle की, तो ये chord भी बन गई. तो उसके correspondingly ये red color की arc मैंने separate भी draw करके दिखाई है AC और BD. So ये हम हमने proof कर दिया कि if the chords are equal so, हमारे पास उनकी arcs जो हैं वो भी equal होती हैं. Hope you understand the sum. Thank you so very much.